Okay, everybody, it is time for you and I to get to work, despite the fact that the market is closed today. Uh, it is Monday, uh, January 17th, 2022. I'm still working on getting that date right. People, um, I want to talk about a bunch of things in this video with you, how the week appears to be setting up, uh, and, and the chatter that's going around. I talk to everybody, as you know. I want to clarify a few things with regard to what I believe is going to happen moving forward, because there seems to be some confusion here. So we're going to fix that right now. All right, so people, let, let's um, let's start off with this, like I usually do with these segments of markets or look ahead. I like to look back before we look forward. What we have seen as of late, especially last week, is more of the same, continuing bad economic news. It doesn't stop. Last week was epic. I was just writing some of this stuff down here. Um, we got... Retail sales numbers, which missed the mark so badly, uh, it's got a lot of people rattled. Um, we're going to talk more about that. So retail sales falling off of a cliff, manufacturing, cratering, hiring, uh, missing the mark by an, an, like 50%. Actually, it was like 100%. Um, we got new unemployment claims again. Uh, coming in higher than expected, and uh, the so-called rocket scientist economists out here, they just don't get it. They don't understand it because they don't know what they're looking at. Again, you have to also keep in mind that these mainstream news outlets, they, they cherry pick whatever they want. And if it doesn't fit the narrative that we're booming and everything is fantastic, then they just sit back and go, we don't understand. We don't get it. Look, it's a shit show on a massive scale, and I think you all know that. But the truth of the matter is, look, our economy is in free fall, and it's not just a phenomenon here in the United States, and it's not going to stop. It's by design. You know, there's a lot of speculation talking about the chatter going on on the back of just last week's economic news, which was abysmal. It couldn't have been worse. There's all this talk about, is the Federal Reserve going to push off rate hikes? Listen to what I'm going to tell you very carefully. The answer to that is no. The Federal Reserve is going to raise rates more than likely at their next meeting. There's a lot behind this. Again, it's a game. You all understand that this is a game we are in, and nothing appears... Nothing is real. That's the truth. So the illusion is, again, we have a criminal organization of the literal highest possible order that's running the world. That is central banks collectively. Now, with regard to the Federal Reserve, they're going to raise rates. They are going. This is the confusion here. Okay, It seems like some of you that are writing to me, um, and I do go through my emails, seem to believe that I am saying they're not going to raise rates. I don't know where you guys and girls are getting this from. I've been telling you for a while now, they are going to raise rates. And the reason behind that is very, very simple. The Federal Reserve needs to maintain some type of illusion that they are really a caring, loving institution. Nothing could be further from the truth. Again, I have told all of you for years, years, that... The goal of central banks, including the Fed, is to continue to inflate and inflate and freaking inflate. Do you really believe any one of you, and I've been asking this question over and over again, that it's just an accident that the Federal Reserve blew way past its 2% target with regard to inflation we are now sitting at 7 This is just by accident that this happened. Really? You really think so? No. Completely by design because their goal is to inflate. But what they're going to do here, the Fed, is again, raise rates at their next meeting, more than likely. And uh, I would say the odds of the Fed nudging rates higher at their next meeting is uh, 90%, maybe more than that. Okay, They must maintain the illusion 
that they are trying to do something about inflation, but nothing could be further from the truth. And I mean that nothing. The Federal Reserve <laughs> is not concerned about skyrocketing inflation at all. In fact, this is their goal. Their goal is to inflate. And on the back of that is to create inflation. Look, what is this all about? We're in the middle of the largest wealth transfer the world has ever seen. We are in the middle of an elimination, of an extermination of an entire class of people on a worldwide scale. This is the middle class. They're being systematically wiped out. A new feudal system run by feudal overlords. This is it, all right? Uh, I hope that if you follow this blog, you are, you are clear on what you are seeing. Because again, remember, the job of the mainstream is to convince you that what you are seeing, hearing, tasting, feeling, everything is not real. Right? They're going to try to convince you that of that. Me, I'm trying to tell you what's really going on, at least so you understand what you should be doing about it. Okay, we are in, we are in, it's even hard to put this into words, people, a global hyperbubble with regard to the debt market. It's out of freaking control. And they're not done. They're not done inflating the hyper bubble uh, in debt by a long shot, okay? And there's a reason for that too. The larger they can make the bubble here, the hyper bubble in debt, the faster it's going to come down, and it is going to come down at one particular time. I don't know when. I don't care when. I don't speculate on it. I trade the market I have, so do my lions out here, but we are hedging ourselves for the future. This all we're doing, this is not rocket scientists. We're not in the business of picking tops and or bottoms in this market. We are looking at the drivers of the market, realizing what the goal here is of central banks and where we're going. Again, we have no government anywhere in the world. We have no representation anywhere in the world. We have a one world government right now run by central banks around the world. And their goal is to own it all. Their goal is to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. Henceforth, why they blew past their inflation target, why will they, they will continue to inflate despite the fact that they're going to raise rates. People, how do I put this to you another way? I don't know. Maybe you can help me out here. Yes, the Fed is going to nudge rates higher, but it's not going to, it's going to be meaningless. And I'm going to tell you right here and right now that the market, the stock market is going to respond positively. How many people are out here explaining that to you? I, I would be willing to bet very few. The narrative, more than likely, because I don't follow anyone, anyone, okay, especially people who blow ponies or other people who are not in the market calling for market crashes and all these other imbeciles that are, that are out there, they're more than likely raising the specter that if the Fed raise rate, raises rates, the market's going to crater. No, that is absolutely not going to happen. Um, the market's going to do the polar opposite of what most people believe it's going to do. Excuse me. My nose is so freaking itchy. Um, and in my view, when we do get uh, the Federal Reserve announcement that they're going to raise rates, the market's going to go higher. I still stand by my call that this market is not just going higher, but it's going much higher. I also stand by my call as one of my five lovely trends for 22 that we are going to see extreme volatility uh, in the market in cryptocurrencies which are actually lower right now as I am doing this video blog no surprise you look what's happening in the market if you look at my video blogs just just go back as far as you want to go you will see that it's really playing out exactly like I have explained it would because look you and I we are so far ahead of the curve, it's, it's, it's frankly ridiculous because we realize the end game. We know what the goals are of the government, which is the central banks. They are, again, working very hard and successfully towards fulfilling their end game to own the world, to create slaves, individual slaves to debt and nation slaves. That's all this is, okay, creating an artificial environment which is going to get very real at one particular time. We have been borrowing from the future 
in unprecedented amounts here. Uh, and this mechanism, keeping rates suppressed, the uh, watching the absolute strength of the dollar literally evaporate, uh, is the root cause of this new feudal system that, that they are working very hard to create here. Um, and eventually, people, like I have said to you, I, I really don't know how many of you understand what I'm about to tell you. And I've covered this. I've, I've written articles about it. You know, uh, global debt and the human bubble here. This is going to lead to not just a massive, very rapid wealth transfer from, from one group of people into another, from one set of assets into another, but it's also going to lead to a resource problem on an unprecedented scale. And people around the world are going to die off on a biblical scale. Again, that's really what this is coming down to. Uh, some form of, of, of extreme population control. I think you are aware of that, those of you that really do understand what's going on here uh, at its core. Uh, we have created an artificial environment by borrowing from the future in unprecedented amounts. And when this all comes down, it's going to change not just the financial landscape of the world. We're going to have a completely new demographic. We're going to have much less people in the world, too, as part of the grand plan here, which is all about control. You think things like this and things like this are, are, are really what they're telling you? No, it's about modes of control. And that was another one of my trends for 22. You're going to see a lot more mechanisms of control coming down the pike here. And the sad part is you're going to see more people willingly surrender, surrender their freedoms and their liberties moving forward. People, you know what we are, you and me? We are the resistance. I have said this before. By understanding their plan here, we can take advantage of it, okay? At least, well, what I do here is I, I put this all into a perspective for you so you can make correct decisions, at least from a financial standpoint. There's not enough of us here. I mean, my channel's got about 200,000 here on YouTube, people following it. We would have to increase that number I couldn't even tell you by how many amount, a hundred times, to get enough people together to do something about this, this new paradigm that I warned would come, this new set of rules that I warned would come from so long ago. The writing has been on the wall for, for an extremely long period of time here. And... I think, at least I'd like to believe, that you and I are absolutely clear on what their end game is. Like I explained to you, they are infl deliberately inflating a hyperbubble in debt, creating massive inflation, pressuring the middle class in an attempt to get rid of them, to literally exterminate them. Okay, they're they're creating a two-tier society, like I've explained forever, extreme haves, extreme have-nots. It's astonishing to see that in this environment right now, we're, we're in economic free fall around the world, okay? We have the rich and the well-off getting much richer and much more well-off. Meanwhile, members of the middle class here, they continue to fall to that lower rung as we all knew they would. Um, they're bowing beyond their eyeballs. We knew this phenomenon was going to occur. Uh, I explained this would happen from a long time ago. It's just so simple to add things up. When people, let's say, feel like they are a member of the middle class here, they're going to do whatever they need to do to at least maintain the illusion of it until it's too late. And what are they doing? They continue to borrow and borrow and borrow. We're seeing record credit card debt, personal debt, household debt skyrocketing. Uh, and we have people like Jamie Dimon, you know, CEO of Superbank, JP Morgan, more than willing to loan because he's, he's also playing up the narrative that our economy 
hasn't been this strong in decades. That, those are his exact words. Meanwhile, we have round after round after round after freaking round of bad economic news. We got money velocity, the rate at which cash moves through an economy at historic lows. You cannot have an economy in recovery or boom without money velocity going higher here. We have debts and deficits out of control. I mean, and this is, <laughs> this is nothing. This is nothing as to what's coming down the pike here. Um, they have things in store for all of us that, again, I, I've, I've said this before this whole COVID thing came out where they shut down the economy. I said they're going to do things that you can't even believe, but just be ready. Be ready for anything to happen, okay, because they're not done. They, they will fulfill their goal, which they've already done. It's just a matter of them finishing it. And the grand finale, which is going to be the finish, is coming, and that is an implosion in the debt market, which is going to destroy the stock market, uh, and all that cash is going to simply move from one set of assets to another set of assets. It's that simple, people. I want you to understand that. Markets run in cycles, risk on, risk off, risk on, risk off. Right now, we're in the biggest risk on cycle, meaning cash going into the stock market, that we have ever seen in the history of the world. Nothing makes sense. The, the gap, just as I said from a long time ago, I don't know how many of you remember this, okay, but we'll, we'll go over it. I told you that the stock market would go higher as the economy free falls. And this gap between them would get wider and freaking wider. Right now, we're literally off the charts. Uh, as you can see, I went past the ends of this, uh, this lovely screen here. Uh, and that phenomenon is going to continue. So you need to be prepared. I said, I think it was Friday, and I took a lot of heat for this, but I don't really care. I said, buy or die. And I'm referring to the stock market here. I sincerely believe in this environment. We need to be buying the dips in everything. All right, let's look at the current environment right now. We understand, you and I, that the debt will continue to inflate on an epic scale. We understand that inflation will continue to skyrocket on an epic scale as well. That alone, along with the dollar free fall, you know, as inflation skyrockets, uh, it's not that prices are going up, people. It's that the dollar is dissolving. Its purchasing power is just evaporating. You understand? Uh, and it takes more weaker dollars to buy anything. That's just the way it works. Um, but again, you know, what do you got? You got the Federal Reserve chairperson blaming COVID. Everyone's blaming that. Uh, it's interesting, isn't it? How we had a total global economic shutdown. And what happened? The stock market kept going higher. Interesting phenomenon, isn't it? But anyway, right now, looking at some of the drivers here of the market, I mean, it's very simple. You got a stable 10-year yield. You got a stable yield curve. That alone is stock market positive. You have a dollar cratering, stock market positive. You got WTI crude at about $84 a barrel, going much, much higher. You got the MMRI, which is the best indicator for market risk you're ever going to find, ever, period, the end. And it's available to you for free. Link in the description of this video. Keep your eyes on that. The, the, the drivers of this market, the main drivers of this market, remain intact. And they remain very, very bullish. Of course, like I said, you can expect volatility. You can expect the market to consolidate for a while here and there. But it's going higher. It's going much, much higher. Let's touch on a few other assets here, people. Like I said, cryptocurrencies right now are under pressure. Not much, but under pressure nonetheless. We've been stuck in a range for quite a while now. Good. Um, I don't really care what happens to cryptocurrencies in the short run. I said ex expect extreme volatility in the crypto space, um, period, the end. With regard to other assets, gold and silver, you know what's going on here, people. It's the super bank. It's JP Morgan. They continue to dump paper assets onto the market, paper assets, uh, rigging, let's put it that way, the market, um, to the downside. I'm talking about physical gold and physical silver. They do this via the derivative. It won't stop. It won't stop until it does. It's not going to stop until we get the implosion in the debt market. I say good and I say fine. Take advantage of this, okay? If you look at global debt, how it is hyper-ballooning, you want to stay 
in debt units or do you want to be in an anti-debt unit, okay? It should be very obvious to you where you want to be. Bet against the debt, become your own central bank. That means holding hard assets, physical gold, more specifically physical silver. Greg Manorino's favorite asset in the history of the world is physical silver. You all know that. I believe you need to be in cryptocurrencies as well. You need to expect volatility in the crypto space. But again, when what we're doing, and I'm going to cover this again real quick. Those of us who are holding, stacking precious metals, those of us who are in cryptocurrencies realize that we are going to get, again, a shift here from one set of assets into another when we get the debt market implosion. It is going to happen. It's just a matter of when. And it's not going to be by accident either. But we don't think about it. You see, if you're hedged, if you are trading the market you have now, looking at the current drivers of the market, being long the market, dividend paying stocks, large cap dividend paying stocks, which you should, you should be for a long time here. And then if you decide to trade around these things by utilizing credit spreads, by selling puts onto the market like my lions do here, not buying calls because the, the, the volatility is too extreme for that. Uh, and it's just, it's a very difficult way to make money in the market, just buying calls, buying calls, fighting time decay. It's not the, it's not the right way. You want to be a net seller of options in this market um, I cover this in my book, A Not-So-Random Walk on Wall Street, which you can get off of my website, traderschoice.net, if you want. But again, it's not for everybody. Trading is not for everyone. All right. But at least you need to be taking advantage of the current situation. It couldn't be easier. You, we all understand, at least I hope so, that the market is going higher. And how you take advantage of that? Dividend-paying stocks, large caps. At the same time, hedging yourself for the future. Betting against the debt, becoming your own central bank holding cryptocurrencies as part of the situation here, buying the dips in everything, buying the dips in the stock market, buying the dips in crude oil, buying the dips in gold and silver and, and cryptos as well. I think, honestly, we can't be beaten. I've told you that with regard to the strategy you and I have been using for quite a long time. Realizing, people, that, are, that the global economy, how does Greg Manorino put this to you another way without having a meltdown? People, we're in free fall. Free fall. But that's opportunity, understanding where you are and where we are going. How many times have I told you you have a choice? You can let the system destroy you or you can weaponize the system. I choose to weaponize the system against those that are trying. There are entities out here. There are people out here who are going out of their way deliberately to hurt you, to hurt you and me. We laugh in their face. Because we're we understand the system, I think, better than anybody else. I don't know, honestly, of another YouTube blog that puts things into perspective the way that I do. Again, I don't follow anyone. I don't follow anybody. What I do is I take in the current situation, the information that I get, and I talk to everybody, people. I talk to everybody. And I mean, I'm, I'm talking about people at the the biggest banks in the world, okay? I talk to these people and I come out here and I explain these things to you. There are people that care um, about what is going on and they don't like it, you understand? And if you've been with me for any length of time, you've taken advantage of this information. Let me ask you, if you were to say, what? What do investors and traders actually do? Well, we're taking advantage of information. Information uh, is a very, very valuable commodity. In fact, it's the most valuable commodity because we can take that information and utilize that to make things work for us instead of against us. You understand? I don't know another way to put this. People, look, this is an awfully long video, and I know some of you hate these long videos. If you do, I apologize. Just cut it in half. I don't know what to tell you. But I think this information is invaluable. I really do. And I am trying my hardest, and I know you are too, to make a difference. That's what this is all about too. This isn't about money. This isn't about, look, this is a game, and, and, and getting wealthy off of the game is just a byproduct. You understand? Or gaining wealth, or 
it's a byproduct of, of what we are seeing here. Um, but the main thing is trying to enlighten people and let them understand what is going on because this environment is twisted. It is sick. It's demented. You got the propaganda ministry out here lying to you at every chance they possibly can. You got the Federal Reserve, public enemy number freaking one, you know, telling you one thing and they're going to be doing another thing. You have our politicians out here who are playing the game, who continue to inflate the beast system, calling for more debt, finding, finding any reason to borrow more cash into existence, creating slaves. Creating slaves. That's what this all is. It's a slave system on an epic scale. And I don't want you to be a slave. I want you to be a winner. Okay, you've got to get yourself out of debt. Um, if you have unsecured debt, it's the easiest thing in the face of the earth. I have a narrated ebook. Um, in fact, I'm going to place a link to that. In the description of this video is a narrated ebook. I narrate it for you and I take you step by step how to get yourself out of unsecured debt. Um, it's not a hard thing to do. You've got to get yourself on the right side of this. If you don't, you're going to lose. And I don't want you to lose, okay? I want you to be a winner. This entire channel is for winners. Period. That's it. Losers can go blow ponies or whatever else they want to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep going on that, off on that. I think it's just too funny. People, I'm going to end this video awfully long. Lots of information. Check out that narrated ebook. Again, it's 100% free. There is a link in the description of this video. Take advantage of everything that I have for you. My website, traderchoice.net, all kinds of stuff, the MMRI, all kinds of free downloads. I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to do that. Even those of you that don't like me, I got your back too. Um, and I'm, I'm determined to bring you around. I want you to tell me where I got this wrong. Those people out here uh, who think Greg Manorino is some kind of freak, <laughs> where did I get it wrong? Did I say something here that doesn't make sense to you? Is it above your pay grade? Or does it all make sense? I think, I think you got it and I got your back and I know you have mine. I will see all of you in the morning and that's it. Love you a lot.